partially eaten apple I'm holding in my hand is one of the most successful brand in the world. Of course, the company in question seems to be struggling a bit recently, but still, when we see this icon, we see innovation and good design. That's what branding is all about. The definition of the word brand is a name, logo, or de a design language of a product that is used to distinguish a company's product from others. But nowadays, this word's applied not only to products and services, but to nations. That's what we call national brand. A lot of people are trying to come up with ways to uniquely express the fact that they made this product and it is made in Korea. Since I was very young, I've dreamed of becoming a designer. I've thought a lot about how I can express with my designs the fact that this was made by a Korean. As tradition plays an important role in showing a nation's history, orientation, and a lot more, my thoughts became a question about how I can put tradition in a design. Actually, these days, there is a lot of talk about methods like using traditional colors, patterns, or shapes. But I wanted to find my own way. That's what I'm going to be talking about today. There's a fashion designer named Lee Sang-bong in Korea. He is famous for designing fashion products with Hangul, the Korean writing system. This dress covered with Hangul was designed by Mr. Lee. And on the right side, this toothpick I'm holding is very familiar to us. Now, let me ask you, which of the two better exposes tradition? To answer my somewhat ridiculous question, we need to consider the definition of tradition. The word tradition's dictionary meaning is a way of living and cultural heritage passed on from the past. Does this mean that tradition does not include things like a traditional Korean house's <coughs> external design or Korean dresses shapes and patterns? In my opinion, no. They are traditions to be sure, but the tra traditions we really need to perceive are not colors and patterns, but our ancestors' ideologies, thoughts, and ways of living. Then let us take a look at this dress. Hangul contains our ancestors' wisdom and ideologies, but I'm not sure about whether the shapes of the Hangul characters themselves hold any meaning. The philosophy, methodology, and the creation process of Hangul was not changed throughout the ages but individual components, shapes, and numbers have changed since its creation. So I do not think it is a part of tradition. Even so, it still looks more traditional than a toothpick, right? If you lift the flap on the right side of your chair, you'll find that there's a toothpick inside. Would you mind taking it out and holding it up? This is a Japanese wooden toothpick, not the starch toothpick we encounter in barbecue restaurants. Doesn't it have a notch on the upper side? I had thought it was for decoration, but it turned out to serve a purpose. If you pressure the toothpick along the notch, it will break. The broke off section indicates that the toothpick is already used and can be used to support the toothpick when laid on it on the table like this. It's a brilliant idea, but I'm sure that many of you are unsure why such measures are needed. Actually, this has something to do with Japanese table manners. In Japan, you have to lay the chopsticks on the supporting wooden block 
when you're not using it. As you see, tradition such as table manners is, contain is contained within a diminutive toothpick. There is a Korean example available too. Some of you may be using Samsung smartphones and look at the keys, they use dots for vaults. The, this layout is called Chonji In, and its inventor, Cho Gwang Hyun, says that he wasn't really thinking of Hangul's theory when he made it. He just had an idea while reading a book in an American library and created this layout. Could foreigners have thought of the Japanese toothpick or chunji in layout? No, and I think it was natural that an idea that fits Koreans was thought of by a Korean. So my conclusion is that attempting to express tradition only by exterior design isn't appropriate. Merely trying to find ideas that make our lives more convenient may contain traditional elements. We still lack something. Products such as Hangul keyboard layouts or toothpicks cannot be used to promote national brands because foreigners don't need to use these products at all. But I think that the, pro the process of encompassing tradition within a product such come from pure creation, not imitation. Mm. An apple's exterior looks intensely attractively red but its interior is a yellow that evokes its unique sweet and sour taste I dream of designing something like an apple I dream of designing products that will make lives convenient all around the world but encompasses Korea's own tradition. Thank you.